In order to add pages to your site, you're going to click on the Pages tab in the right hand side. From here, you'll see the plus button, and then you can add your pages. If you're in elementary, you might put a page simply for your grade level, so third grade. When I click on done, you'll see the page pop up on the top. If you're at the secondary level, this might look something more like leadership or pages for specific skills that you were trying to portray. So you'll note that you can add as many pages that you want to. You might even want to add some sub pages. So if I'm in Gates, maybe I have a Gates page. And maybe I'm showing my Gates work from my third grade year. So if I wanted to make Gates a sub page of my third grade page, I would simply drag the Gates page until there's a box around third grade. You'll see now that I have a sub page under third grade. If you want these to be in a different order, you can simply drag the leadership page underneath. This is really nice that this is drag and drop. If you're currently working on a page, but you don't necessarily um, want others to see that page yet, maybe it's under construction, you can hide that page from navigation, and you'll still be able to work on it, but others will not be able to see that page. If you decide you don't want a certain page, you can always delete the page as well. It's best practice to go ahead and not have too many tabs up here. You want to keep this clean with organized subpages so that people don't have to dig too far to find your skills and your best work. While the default is that the pages show on top navigation, if you click on the settings bar, you could also have the pages under side navigation as well. Not sure which pages to include or what to include in your pages? Check out the Get Inspired tab of the ePortfolio website for good examples and some ideas.